So customary marriage um, is recognized by our own law. And that's why you are able to even, uh, uh, you know, make uh, or deal with a matter like that before you law and all of that. Yes. And by its very nature, it's uh, ordinarily um, married in a, in a community of property. Yes. If you get married customer, yes. that is marriage in community of property. And then you go and get married in a civil marriage. And then you sign antinuptial contract. When you divorce, which law uh, take precedence over the other and why? Because all of it is the law. Yes, thank you. South Africa has an integrated uh, uh, justice system or a hybrid system. And uh, it involves the constitution as the supreme law, common law, statutory law, and very importantly, customary law. So in deciding that matter, I would think, uh, Commissioner, how you would go about it is to say and invoke the principles of Ubuntu. And when one, when one reads a person's judgments, uh, it, uh, one would be able to tell whether a person just talks about things uh, such as Ubuntu and traditional law and customary law, or whether one evidences that in one's uh, writings. So what I would do is I would try to find a way in which I can give proper credence to customary law, because it's on an equal footing uh, with the uh, common law in our country. Or that's how I understand it to be. And what about compassion, the values of uh, uh, mutual care, interconnectedness of people. These are all traditional African equity values uh, which falls under the umbrella of uh, Ubuntu. So I will consciously as a judge uh, look for ways in which I can incorporate that uh, into the decision that I do make. So which means that which I have a problem with and you can clarify me Yes. Uh, as a legal practitioner. Um, um, now, the customary marriage, which is the uh, married in community of property, and I get married in a civil marriage, and then you sign anti-nuptial contract. Why is that marriage of civil marriage even recognized when there is a recognized marriage? Before the dissolution of the safe first marriage, you, you allow a person to marry again, the same person uh, on different uh, arrangement. Why is that allowed? Because if customer marriage was recognized the way you want to describe it, it was supposed to be that you can't marry again because you are married, you are legally married. That should be a requirement before we get into civil marriage or any other marriage. Is there any other type of marriage you are involved in? And if it's true, I'm engaged in uh, customary marriage, which means marriage in community or property. I, I must not be allowed to engage in a, another marriage. Because the impression is like this civil marriage is more senior than our marriage. Why is that, uh, that allowed? Well, pre-constitution, uh, that was the case, as we all know, that very little credence was given to customary uh, law and with the advent of the Constitution, uh, I think uh, the playing fields have been uh, leveled. But perhaps uh, maybe we fall short in our judgments that we do deliver at times in emphasizing that uh, and uh, having it on an equal footing. Uh, the, the only example I, that I can think of, uh, Commissioner Malema, would be that if we chosen the, st the path of a secular state, that this uh, cause we adopted uh, as a country. And then if you look at the public holidays, uh, for example, you'll have uh, certain uh, religious holidays, which are still public holidays, and uh, other religious holidays are not public holidays. And you don't want to be seen to be given, uh, giving preference, having to adopted that. And why do we still continue as a country uh, with such. But I think practically what happens is that 
uh, people are allowed in whichever field they are, whether it's in public or private uh, enterprises, to take those as paid uh, holidays, even though the law may not have changed to recognize that. In practice, it does happen. So I would think, uh, Commissioner Malema, on that question, I will grapple with that, uh, with those issues, because I understand how important and appreciate uh, customary law is. In fact, if I had a matter, uh, I would prefer to go to the traditional courts uh, if I could help it, because of the equity, because of the fairness, because of the powers it has, uh, and to do uh, real justice on an equitable basis. It's just a personal preference. Yeah. Uh, so just, I, follow up, CJ. Well, all right. I suppose all of us want to follow up. <laughs> Go ahead, Commissioner. Yeah, thank, thank you. Yeah, the problem, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Khaled, is that I'm really struggling to grasp your answer to the questions that have been asked by Commissioner Malem. I don't understand what your answer is. Because you start by saying if it was before you, you would try by all means to apply customary law, and then you start referring to other things that are not part of the question, uh, which have to do with language. Yes. Now, this is for me giving me a serious problem because, you know, if you were to ask someone what was the magistrate's answer to Commissioner Malema, I don't think anyone will tell you what the actual answer is. So I'm trying to get clarification about whether you understand customary law or not. So let me ask you a different question to try and make it simpler and ask you to please give the answer to the question and not re-ask your own question and then answer your own question. Yes, uh, thank you. If there is a dispute between party A and party B about the rule of custom, party A says, and it can be any rule of custom, it can be a rule relating to marriage or a rule relating to succession, any rule. Party A says the rule is Y, party B says the rule is Z. How do you go about as a judge resolving that dispute? Thank you. Uh, the question is much clearer now, Commissioner. Thank you very much. No, no, it's uh, a different question. It's not Commissioner Malema's question. Yes. No, but the way you explained uh, where I had my shortcoming. I would uh, look at both uh, versions like any other version. Uh, I would acquaint myself with customary law. Uh, I would, if needs be, uh, call on the assistance of somebody who is well versed. But most of the time, I would think uh, I would read up uh, on that and research that as much uh, as I could uh, to come up with an answer. No, it's, this is the problem. The, there is there are cases, right, starting all the way from two thousand and three in yes. the Constitutional Court that explain the method that the judge must follow in resolving a disputed rule of custom. They don't start off by doing as much research as I can. And so I come back to this thing that I'm trying to understand, does this candidate actually know customary law? The question started with uh, uh, Commissioner Nongonyana and then Commissioner Malema localized it to marriage. I'm trying to broaden the sense I'm getting is that you're not actually familiar with the rules applicable to resolving evidentiary disputes and legal disputes in customary law. Well, what I would do is, I, I, I'm not sure you mentioned about the Constitutional Court, but the, the way I would approach it is like any other matter, I would just do as much research as I could to understand uh, 